Great smile, perfect. This is actually better than I even thought. I'm excited about today. I'm very excited about today because today I get to photograph the folks at Sorensen Homes. So this is a corporate job, commercial job. I'm gonna do portraits of everybody. And the great thing about them is these are master builders. They do everything by hand. They do just this, they do amazing work. So these are people that are gonna get kind of a little different photography. They don't want the same photography that, you know, everyone else will do, or you'll do something in the studio, or everybody's gotta be, be the same. It's, it's quite exciting because I think um, these are the people that are gonna really like the craft of photography and appreciate kind of a little bit, something more on the arty side. So I am going to, use my Hasselblad, uh, my medium format Hasselblad. I'm gonna shoot black and white for them. And this is the big thing. My good friend, Randy Risling, who is behind the camera right now. Let's actually, here, let me do a quick little photo of him and then I'll show you guys what he looks like right there. And so I'm gonna actually take you on assignment with me while I work. Randy's gonna produce and direct this. He is a great content producer. I will leave the links down below to his YouTube channels. Make sure you check him out. He is one of the best guys in the country by far. I actually really wanted to shoot a video for Todd because I watch his videos on YouTube and uh, when I take portraits, it's always super awkward. So I thought, you know what, why don't we make a video? Because I want to see how he interacts with the subject and, and what kind of process he goes through that way. I thought it'd be good for you guys to see too. So here we are. Uh, hope you guys like this video. So this was made in 1956. Left foot out, right foot back. Not even, not that, not quite that much. Bring it back a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. Good. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, see, I don't have a lot of light. I don't, at 400 ISO, I get a 60th at F2, uh, 2.5. Um, and I need a 60th of a second on this, and the lens is 3.5. So I'm actually going to push this roll one stop to 800 ISO to give me more light so that I can make this happen. You know, Heather on the stairs, that was really good. I loved her flowing dress. It kind of, it spoke to her personality and, and, and who she was and, and kind of that free spirit. Uh, I like that picture a lot. So we're going to do a photograph in the office here. Now the office is quite dark, dark gray, um, and not a lot of light, but I have a roll of Ilford Delta 3200 ISO. This is a great film, super high speed, but it's gonna be grainy, but it's gonna be really interesting. It's gonna be a really cool look, I think. I love the mirror picture we did with the architect, that reflection uh, of him. Um, I love Brent outside the house just now. Um, the social media gal in amongst all the boxes was kind of cool. Uh, oh, and the woman in with the old bathtub and that great, the accountant with that great mirror um, that was reflecting the hard light. There, oh, I like that a lot. Just chin down, tiny bit. Chin down? Just a, a tiny bit. Well, just like that, yes. There we go, perfect, hold that. Nice. Oh, that, that looks fantastic. It was really great, actually. He made it so simple and just gives direction and super fun. And, uh, you know, the assistant who was sitting down in those streams of light, that was really cool, too. So, like, everybody was different. Everything was different. And in a house like that, you can create a lot of different photos. A lot of places in the past in Calgary have lacked character and have lacked light coming in. It's great to see builders building houses with their own personality and character where you can put people in and you can bring, you know, kind of the spirit of the person out. So there's a lot of cool photos today, I think. And I think 
you know, and, and I love shooting in black and white because then it becomes just about the person, not about the color because, you know, one room was slightly purple and one room was gray and, you know, there's all these colors. Now it becomes just about the person. Oh, and the other sight guy, uh, the silhouette of him on the stepladder is going to be great. Oh, that was great. Okay, don't move. Don't move. I just want to shoot a few more photos of you. And of course, Sorensen himself. Hey, do that again. Just look out that way. Hey, Randy, just make him smile. Make him laugh and smile again like you were. Uh, with those two big lights in the kitchen and, uh, and, and they have my favorite stove, my favorite stove from France for cooking. I would love to come here and cook. I talked to the owners. I said, oh, I love that stove. I know exactly. I said, I'll bring the food and the wine. Let me just come and make a meal on that stove. So that would be, that would be a lot of fun. That'd be a lot of fun. All right, 60th at two, eight and a half. I'm going to shoot this at f 2.8 because I want the house a little out of focus in the background. These guys are artisans, right? Their art is they build houses. They just don't build a structure and you move into it. They build an artful house and they appreciate art and they appreciate artists, painters, photographers, musicians. So to work for people that that appreciate those things and for me to contribute to how they work, their artisan way of life, their approach, it's really exciting. It's, it's, it's such a breath of fresh air. Might be trying to like toot our own horn here, but it is like, it's an element of intention. It is an element of intentionally bringing out specific details so that the fine details are not lost yeah, yeah. in what we're creating. And that's exactly what my, I, I hope my photography is about. That's exactly cool. the same thing. It will be. Yeah. It will be. This is what YouTube has given me. The ability to work in film, the ability to slow down and have people like this kind of appreciate um, you know, the whole film look and taking your time and doing it right instead of um, just doing a bunch of digital photos and then hanging out in front of a computer. It's one of the things I love about film. And um, that's one of the, YouTube has given me kind of a revitalization on film photography and what I do. That's the one thing, that's the one gift YouTube has given me, the big gift.